Hello everyone, again, uh, Hazu here with episode, what is this, 6 or something, 7, I don't know, I've lost count, um, Loincloth Man is here, however, I've heard that one of my good friends is feeling confronted by the loincloth. So as a as a treat to my good friend there enjoy the booty look at that butt oh yeah damn <laughs> anyway um so if we go down here, Lawtrex bug it off because he he does that. Uh, Crestfallen, he's a twat. We're gonna kill him later because he's mean. What we are gonna do is run up here. Ignore Petrus because he's annoying. Uh, run up here. Run out of stamina because we weren't watching. Do 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 do. That's like elevator music. If yeah, I'd, I don't really know what elevator music sounds like. Holy crap! My guy has a gut. Look at that. It's like middle-aged man. It's nuts. Anyway, so we are in Lay Parish. Ow! No. Ah. <laughs> oh. Dis mistakes were made. Mistakes are made. Oh god. Please go away. No. No sippy for you. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so. That. The, the man who gave us the multiplayer item before crossing the, the big bridge with the dragon. He is now going to be a NPC summon for a few bosses. Like the one we're about to fight. Um, creepy man who is in the cell, he, although he's going to be an enemy later on, we can actually summon him for this boss and one more. But that's that that that's later on. So kill these naked guys. More sentences I never thought I'd say. Pew. God, that works well. No. That no. Okay, not working. <laughs> and. Anywho, so if you are wondering about the butt, as I said at the start, it's entirely courtesy of a friend of mine who wanted me to change pants, cover up the magnificent butt. I disagreed. Well, actually, I agreed, but I decided to take the pants off to please her for a little bit but I will be covering up this mighty fine rear end <laughs> anyway here is Knight Lawtrek who's a twat summon him go up here summon <clears throat> okay hurry it up Summon Knight Solaire. Oh yeah. Man, it's so good these NPCs don't mind there's a naked man running around.
Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so I'm not sure if you saw that, but for a very brief second, there were actually health bars for the gargoyles up on that tower. That's kind of a spoiler as to what the boss is. Yeah, anyway, uh, walk forward, trigger the cutscene, I won't talk during it because it's kind of cool. Hello, beastie. Nope. Bad. Now, as with a lot of these kind of enemies, y you can cut their tail off. But sometimes it doesn't work. This one doesn't have a tail, so you can't do that. Now, Despite how much damage I was doing to it, and the others were doing to it, each summon you bring into a boss fight actually increases the amount of damage resistance the boss has. I'm not sure if it actually increases their total health, but I know it means that you do a lot less damage per hit, depending like if, if you have like three or two summons so yeah that's a that's a thing so go up here and ring this bell Right. Wasn't that exciting. You know what? I'm, I actually kind of like this whole running around naked thing. Hmm. I, I might stay completely nude the entire playthrough. Uh, this guy pops up. He's a bit weird. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kerry. The park. Thou art a friend. For thee, warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess? For to accuse. For indeed, all sin is my domain. Okay, so first off, you learn the well, what is it gesture, which is done by pretty much everyone who will. <laughs> if, if they defeat you online they will taunt you with that gesture. It's it, it's what's gonna happen. Um, why would I need absolution? I haven't... Uh, anyway. Uh, sell some stuff. Nothing too exciting. No one welcome any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> Yeah, that that laugh. I'm not. Hmm. I don't feel comfortable with that guy. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Firekeeper is still here. Crestfallen still there. Petrus is still being, you know, Jesus y, I guess, over there. Um, I would go to the next area, but in 
did... Um... No, you know what? No. I'll leave that for when I have to go that way. I just realised I can't warp. Bugger. But I can... Yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. If people want me to wear pants, I need to be able to wear them. And the easiest way to do that is to wear Havel's ring. And you get that by killing Havel. Because it's his name. So... Hmm. What I might do... Is say hi to these fine folks. I don't... Then... Yeah, we'll go down... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to um, figure out what I want to do because plot-wise, or sort of um, game progress-wise, I need to go back to that locked door at the start of the the big bridge guarded by the dragon, and I need to use this key, the basement key to unlock it. But... I can't. Do I want to reinforce anything? Why, yes I do. Ninja sword. Yeah. Um... I don't like my chances with this guy. Because he's tough and mean. And nasty. Ow. I'm doing 71 damage. Ow. Did I like eat part of his body? Like, was that, like, part of his arm or something that just thwacked into me? Oh, that was late. That was... yeah. <sighs> you know, I might just leave him till later. Because I do... I do want that sort of um, pointy stick. Oh, that's disgusting. Please make me human. If I'm gonna be naked, at least make me human. Oh, thank God. Right. Um, that's the health, like, sorry. 204 out of 360, whatever. It will do. Thanks for your help, Andre. Don't step in and help, you bastard. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Yoink. Yeah, okay, bye. Nope. We're not doing this. Mmm, <laughs> no. Wait. Never mind. If I wanted to, I could stand there and just shoot arrows into his face, but I don't think anyone would want to see that. I could do it off camera, I guess, but... You know.
Right, so what I'm going to do is go down here. And I want to go to... That damn flower is blocking... Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> because I've got to go down there. There's a hydra in that water pool over there. And I've got to go to, I don't know, a tower or something. Anyway. Go along here. There's a crystal lizard over there. What's this, downwards? Cool. Chase after him. <laughs> Hope he doesn't run away, because they do. And they're dicks like that. Get back here, you shiny, sparkly bastard. <sighs> Good. They don't annoy me or anything, though. Uh, so down here... Um, go along here and drop down, so you can get this, you get leather armor, you get a longbow, you get arrows, and then, bloop, uh, this way, yeah, because there's another black knight this way, and believe it or not, I do want to fight him, I know, weird. There he is. Hello, governor. Stab you in the butt. And again. And we're not going to die with one hit to go this time. Ah, oh, crap. Stop it. Sir, please. Let me kill you. Thank you. And I don't get his weapon again because this game hates me. Best shield in the game? Sort of. It's 95% uh, physical reduction, so I will take a little bit of damage. But... It... Um... It makes your uh, stamina regenerate a bit faster. So, if, like me, you keep overspending, um, stamina-wise, like, you know, attacking too long, and then you're, you're like, gee, this stamina takes 10 years to do anything. Well, this shield makes life a bit easier, see? Drain it, and then boom. Now, we can go that way, but there's a hydra that way. And we don't like hydras. There's also crystal golems, and they're mean. So. Now, Havel is behind this door. Uh, do, do you remember the spiral um, staircase that you went, that we went up? Um, to get to the Taurus Demon. Well, this is at the bottom of that. Please don't hit me. Yeah. Yeah, see? If you walk through that door and hesitate, he'll just flatten you. Um, parrying and backstabs are really the only way uh, to deal with him. But... Um... I've never really been able to parry his weapon. Probably because I'm not good enough. But, you know. His weapon is the is called the Dragon's Tooth, and you do actually find it um, later on, as well as the rest of his armor and his shield. So it's all in one place. Sir, please! In the later game, it was... I think Dark Souls 2, it was hidden behind a door guarded by poison things. Which, let me tell you, is not my idea of fun. Is he... Oh my god! 
Thank God that killed him. Oof. Right. Havel's ring, finally. Now what this does is see equip load is 9 of 56. With the ring it's 9 out of 84. It's like 25% uh, increase or something or 30%. I, I don't know the percentage but it's enough to put pants on. Them. Um, no. Wait, let me see. Nope. Yeah. Ah, oh, I have pants. And 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 clothes. Ah. Oh. Right. Uh, gargoyles done. Have all killed. Pants obtained going to go back to the bonfire. So next episode will probably be... Well, I'll, I'll start off at, um, at the doorway, so you don't need to watch me running to there. But, um... Oh, I'll, I'll level up first. Um... What can I do? Five levels? Yeah. Got enough endurance for a, a, a equip load for now. So... Hmm. Put one into HP. Uh, two into strength. Two into dexterity. Uh, what's that weapon wise? 128. Well, it's not great. Actually, I'll put a bow on. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Well, see you next time.